Hey everybody, Shelly and Holly here with the Cannon Builders Dream Team. And as promised, while well, we're a little late, um, that's usually how I handle things, but we roll. yeah, um, we are here and we are ready to answer your questions on the USDA 100% financing. Um, we're hoping that uh, you guys have some great questions for us today. We are ready to answer those questions. So. Actually, actually, before we get started, um, Everybody knows Shelly and I are partners and uh, partners in sales and in crime. And I'm getting ready to take a vacation. So before we get started, Shelly, while we're waiting for our viewers to kind of jump on, I want to give you my Holly's going on vacation survival. <laughs> Yay! Tip. I love this, this is how she's going to survive without me because Thank we are a team. So, of course, Aww. everything with Holly starts with wine. So, wine. Thank and you. then if you'd like to open this little gift. Yay! Give our viewers a second to jump on. Aww, how adorable. Look. This is for water. Aww, water. If you see the work, it's for water. Aww, thanks, Holly. <laughs> oh, and got to have my coffee. What, what? That's how we get along. <laughs> coffee and wine. What else do we need? Amen. Right? Amen. Mm -hmm. And contracts. And contracts. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely got to have those. Thank you. You're it's welcome. adorable. Can You're you just welcome. go ahead and use this now? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Pour us the glass. We'll calm right down. We'll answer all your questions. Hey, Manny. Mandy's watching. Hey, Lori. Oh, oh, Lori's on. Hi, Lori. Oh, Lori's got a question. Uh-oh, Terry's on there too. Hi, Terry. Okay, let's see. Lori North, can I get a USDA loan after filing bankruptcy? Do you want to take that? Sure. you want me to take that? Uh, sure, absolutely. You can. Um, uh, obtain a USDA loan um, after bankruptcy. The uh, I believe the term is uh, two years after filing bankrupt bankruptcy, and that your bankruptcy has seasoned for a full two years, and um, you can qualify for USDA. Yeah, and they actually change the parameters too. That if you do a Chapter Thirteen, it's only one year. Oh, awesome! So that's pretty cool. So if you've got a Thirteen, it's one year. If it's a Seven, then it's two years. And a lot of our buyers come in and say, "Well, I filed bankruptcy. There's no way you're going to be able to Absolutely, help me." Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, you can. True. Absolutely. Yeah. Every, I mean, growing pains. Growing pains, growing pains. I don't know about you, but I'm, I need my glasses on. I have a hard time seeing I know. Them. So if we get really close to the screen, I know. we're sorry. Uh, let's see. Tyler is asking, how much are closing costs? Holly, you want to take that one? Absolutely. Um, closing costs are actually not determined by the seller. They're determined by um, the lender. So your USDA closing fees are going to depend on several things. Credit scores, um, Obviously, your escrow is tied into USDA, so your taxes and insurance are part of your payment. So you're going to be prorating and paying um, the balance of the calendar year, whatever your taxes, insurance, and interest are. So that's going to tie into your closing costs. So really, that's a better question to ask your specific lender. Um, I, I haven't seen them go over four thousand no. dollars. So mm -hmm. typically, they're they're pretty pretty average. Mm -hmm. So they're right in line with a regular FHA or conventional loan. So, great question, good. Tyler. Yeah, good question, Ty. We've got a question from Sherry. What are the steps to getting a USDA loan? You or me? Well, you go for it. You, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's actually easy, too. So, a lot of people come in and they're pre-qualified for FHA. I ask them where they came up with an FHA loan. And typically, it's because they're not aware of USDA. So, qualifying for a USDA loan is exactly like qualifying for other loan products with a little bit of a difference. So um, first you're going to call your, basically you're going to call a lender, ask them if you qualify. They're going to run credit, debt to income, um, just like you would any typical loan. And then once they get your debt to income ratio, they're going to tell you um, how much you qualify for based on what is going in and coming out every month. And that would be inclusive of whatever that payment is. Um, so they're actually going to they're going to qualify you. Then they're going to make sure that the home is built in a USDA qualified area because USDA are in pockets. They're not offered everywhere, which is why many people don't know about USDA loans. Absolutely. Um, they're for rural, they're to grow rural areas. Mm, so luckily for you, Cannon Builders Dream Team only builds in USDA qualified areas. And we actually build to USDA spec from the get-go. So Absolutely. Um, That's really important to know because not all builders will do that for you. They don't offer that um, the, the, the guidance and that what a USDA requires. Absolutely. So and we, we build every home as if it's going to be USDA. Mm -hmm. You know, So a lot of people will come in um, 
when we have inventory homes and say, hey, is this home even USDA eligible? Because did you guys even build it USDA? Right. And we, we always Absolutely, do. Yeah. We build them like they're going to be USDA no matter what. So, great question. And Terry so, asked a question. It's not on here anymore, but I, I love it. What are the benefits of USDA? My favorite, 100% financing, of woo. course. You do not need to spend your savings that you've, you know, have your nest egg you've set back um, for your down payment because with uh, USDA, that's what's so amazing. It is 100% financing. So, um, that's obviously why we are um, always gung-ho about this, uh, this loan program. Absolutely. And it has favorable loan terms, too, because there are two different USDA products. One's called USDA Guaranteed and one's called USDA Direct. USDA mm -hmm. Direct, you have to go through USDA, um, the Department of Agriculture, directly for that loan. USDA Guaranteed is what we usually see the most of. Um, and that product is uh, their favorable loan terms because what's happening is 1% of your total dollar amount for the house is financed in the loan kind of as an insurance protection policy for USDA for you. So it allows them to really shop around and get great competitive rates. So great question, great yeah, question. We got lots of great questions know, on here. I'm learning, so I'm gonna start taking notes. Holly's hmm. like. <laughs> Let's oh. see, Steve, how much can I borrow? Great question. There's Sky's the limit. No how cap. much you want to spend? There's That's no right. cap on. Shelly and I will help you build that number up. <laughs> yeah. There's no cap to USDA um, currently. So right now you can you can uh, you could even almost go jumbo with that. Yeah. Great question. Yeah, so, Kathy, you asked the same question there. What is the maximum amount? And again, there's there's not one. So that is. Awesome. And then I think Manny had on there, uh, there was a question of uh, what are the terms? Um, I love this because a lot of times people think, uh, well, it's 100% financing. The interest rate's probably going to be higher. I'm not going to be able to get the going rate. Uh, of or the, it's going to adjust. Adjust. Or, yeah. What's the catch? Yeah, exactly. There's always, that's always, what yeah. is the catch? And, How come and you're giving me 100%? There's, <laughs> there's not a catch. Um, it's a fixed rate. And you can do um, a 30-year or 15-year uh, fixed rate if you wish to do so. So um, there is isn't a catch there's no the rates not going to go up or down um, it is a fixed uh, 30 year or 15 year rate absolutely we did also get um, a couple of email questions so we're gonna kind of jump in and fill those in too but let's see my credit score is not so great is that a problem great great question yeah. we get asked this a lot too um, usually when it's a fantastic loan product everybody says oh, I guess you have to have impeccable credit I'm out no Absolutely not. Um, in fact, they are flexible with their credit guidelines. Um, typically, they want you to have a 640, um, but there are some products that allow you to go 620. Um, so no, you do not have to have perfect credit. Um, it, that's not an issue. So especially if you've had a bankruptcy, a foreclosure, or something like that, Obviously, it's going to take time for your score to build, so you may have met that two-year season date right. and say, okay, I'm ready to go, but my credit's quite not, not quite there. That's okay, because we are still going to be able to probably knock you into that category by just maybe modifying a couple of things. And our lenders are great with yeah, jumping in and saying, hey, you know what, I looked at your debt to income on your financial forecast. If you would just do A or B, it's gonna pop your scores right where they need to be. So don't We have let... seen that so many times. Oh my gosh. Sorry, but like, no, you know, you're right. You People had... come in and they'll they'll be in the fives, upper fives typically, and then say, oh, I'm not quite there. Do not shy away from calling us because there may be a trick that we can help you you know, quickly finagle a number. I had one couple that had two car payments left. All they had to do, they had three and a half percent saved um, for FHA. All they had to do was take those two car payments, pay those off, and their debt to income ratio went up. They could borrow more money, it's had a crazy. lower interest rate, lower PMI. I mean, great story. that's a great product. I don't know if you've, um, Shelly and I will both sit down after your information session with you and kind of give you an estimated payment. Um, a lot of times I will do an FHA breakdown and then I'll do a USDA breakdown and the uh, MI requirements for USDA are 0.5 versus FHA being at 0.85 and I know that's just jargon to you, but basically it can mean a difference between, um, you know, a couple hundred dollars in your payment. Mm -hmm. So a couple hundred dollars allows you to buy ten to twenty thousand dollars more in home for the same price you would be paying an FHA mortgage at. So Absolutely. it is definitely beneficial to weigh your options yeah. for sure. For sure. 
Our, oh, I like this one. Um, are only first time buyers eligible for USDA? No, anyone is eligible for USDA that meets obviously the guidelines um, that are required, but um, you do not have to be a first time home buyer to qualify for USDA. Definitely not. You you cannot use it for an investment property. That's so correct. a lot That's of correct. times yep. people will say, oh great, I qualify. So I'm going to get this house and I'm going to use it as an investment property, or I'm going to take my old house and use it as an investment property. You can only have one mortgage um, to do USDA. And then if you wanted investment property, you have to buy that separately with a different product. Great question. Yay. Great, great question. Love all these questions. I know. I know. <laughs> Shelly and I got, like, emails. Like, we're going live. We're ready to answer. But some people wanted to email in because they couldn't tune in live today. Um, and then we also had some phone calls in the office this weekend. So let's just answer one I know. of those, I think, Shell. Yeah. Um, I think this one is for, let's see, doo -doo -doo. how do you check to see if your home is USDA eligible? That was from Melissa. So how do you know if your house is USDA eligible? Easy peasy. Go ahead. Us. <laughs> That's right. Uh, USDA, you're going to require to be, obviously, um, like Holly said earlier, it has to be in the, the correct area, in rural areas, um, is uh, typically where you can get a USDA uh, loan. So, um we're getting all kinds of questions on here. Hmm. Caitlin. Hey, Caitlin. Um, okay, so it true. says, I was <laughs> thanks for the hearts. Uh, you were told that there's a cap. Yes, you're correct. So the income guidelines, there is a cap. Mm -hmm. um, that is not a catch by any means. But if you make over a certain dollar amount, um, you are not eligible for USDA. So what they'll do, uh, I don't have the exact number. I want to say it's 80000 Let's just say 81000 yeah. It's a little under 81000 It's 80000 and some change. But you cannot make a total household income of a family of four or less. So when they are taking that into consideration, if you had, let's say, and Caitlin, I know this isn't the case for you, but if you have a, um, a working child even, like a 16-year-old that may work um, at a fast food restaurant, and their income is actually counted against you, if they're going to be dwelling in the home. So it's very important to check those guidelines. Um, and that's, we can get you there. We can take you to the next step, but then the lender is going to have to help you with that. So, and it goes by like the, the, the amount of people in the home, like right. children you may have. So after four, I, it goes I, up and yeah, the number goes up. The number, yeah, mm -hmm. the, your income can go, go be a little bit higher. Um, I'm not sure uh, the exact numbers. Again, the lender can give those to you, but if you're uh, larger than a family of four, then your income cap is going to go up a little bit on that. So great question. Yeah. Let's see, Ryan, I believe it's 84 for the cap. Hey, Ryan, mm -hmm. you would know because you're buying with us. <laughs> Thanks, How's it Ryan. going? You're Family welcome, Caitlin. Under, yeah, thank you're thank so you. welcome. So welcome. Great questions, guys. Yeah. I'm trying to see. We have all these questions, and I want to try to grab a couple Let's of them see. and see Just which ones are the... Um, mm -hmm. well, we don't... This one was from Jessica. Do you want to... At minimum, uh, what are the minimum uh, USDA requirements? Uh, well, there are a few. Um, you have to be a U.S. citizen. Um, it's usually dependable on, like we've been talking about, on your income. It's, it's really um, what it's... That's the big, that's uh, key. Yeah, it's key um, it is has, income. It has to be, tan I'm sorry, no, it has to be fine. tangible income too. No longer are lenders accepting um, stated income. So if you've only been at a job a short time and, and you're not showing on paper what your income is, it's very important hey, that April. everything is documented. <laughs> um, so definitely, definitely want to make sure that you've got two consecutive years of the same income or at least in the same field. So if you're self-employed, if you are working, uh, let's say, uh, what's a good example? If you're a hairdresser, if you were working at a, a, a company doing hair and then you branched out on your own, it's you would need at least two years mm -hmm. before you could uh, use that because you need two income tax returns um, if it's stated. Not for every product or not for every um, job, but right. yeah, for that. That's a good question. And then also there is the debt ratio. I mean, there is, you know, it is a great loan program, but there is guidelines that just like any other loan program, but um, the debt to income ratio, um, and of course that's going to be different for every everybody with their income. So Absolutely. those are some of the guidelines for USDA. Not too many, I don't think. I mean, not Absolutely. for 100% financing, that's for sure. Absolutely. And I just love it when people... Um, 
uh, ask that we are USDA, um, you know, we build compliant to USDA because we do at no additional charge to our buyers. Absolutely. It costs us a little bit more up front, but it allows an open window of opportunity for more buyers. Um, Ashley, cool. what is the minimum credit score? You did miss that, Ashley, but that's okay. We're glad you tuned in. Um, Typically, they want to see a 620 to 640. Sometimes we've had buyers in the fives that will get qualified for, let's say, an FHA rate going in. And as the house is under construction, yeah. may have paid down some things or um, got the credit up and repair a little bit more. So 620 is typically the minimum. 585 if we're going to start you off with an FHA loan and then roll you into USDA as long as you qualify prior 30 days prior. Uh, pre-closing so yeah. 30 days before closing which I have had happen in. several times Absolutely. buyers going into it thinking okay I have my three and a half percent and they've done all the work um, you know uh, in that four and a half months to get their home built um, they've done the work to get uh, to USDA qualifications and then they get to just keep the three and a half percent in their pocket that they've been saving. So I, I love them. Let's Shelly. They're not keeping it in their pocket. They're decorating because they come <laughs> into our gorgeous displays. This is true. We buy everything. Yeah, this is true. It's Shelly and I are happy to go shopping with we you guys. Will. We, we will, will help yeah. you yeah. spend yeah. In fact, we can, you know, anytime we just go We're on, on call. <laughs> We're at your service. Yeah. So anything else? Wait, let's see. I think we've gotten almost all those on there. Hopefully this has been super beneficial to everybody. I know that um, we have a lot of people um, mm. that come in and just they're not even familiar at all with USDA. That's why we wanted to do this. Um, not because we go, like to go live. <laughs> uh, it's because we wanted to give you guys some uh, information that would be beneficial to you or maybe somebody you know. Absolutely. And again, um, it's very important that you make sure that your home is in a USDA eligible area. So um, there are pockets here and there um, in St. Charles County, not much left there. Really the key is being in a rural area um, and Cannon Builders has been great about finding communities that are not only in rural areas but close to commute. So quick highway access so why yeah, that's a great point just because it's rural doesn't mean that you're out in the right. you know like you're not driving down the gravel yeah, road yeah, exactly. to get to your house we which are, is not a problem but no. we are we are definitely quick mm -hmm. highway access yeah um, and we've, we've done that we've done that by design to make sure that our buyers Absolutely. are getting the best of both worlds. Country living with quick city amenities, which is Rockport great. Rockport is 10 minutes to Winsfield Parkway. So Hello. Crossing yep. 13. That's, I mean, you can't beat that. No. And not only that, but you're saving in taxes too, which is Absolutely. huge. That'll help your debt to income ratio. So maybe you qualified for USDA and say Winsville and it only allowed to allowed maybe 140, 150,000 and you're really looking to spend 200, well, come on out, 10 minute drive and make it well worth your time. Well, so many people are, are amazed when they get to our communities and they see how much more home they can buy at the same exact payment, um, only larger homes. So we, um, sure. again, Shelly's right. We thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I know we get a lot of questions all the time. Um, Basically, if you have any other questions and you're just tuning in late, you're seeing this and we're no longer live, you can reach us in our offices. Somebody is available every day. Our, our, our office phones are forwarded to our cell phones. Our spouses <laughs> love that. Um, so just give us a call at the offices. You can reach Shelly at 636 uh, what's your name? <laughs> she's star four. 462 1544. Yeah. And then I'm 636. What is my number? Uh, 462 4619. Oh, so maybe she likes me more. I don't yeah. know. Um, but call us anytime. We're happy to help. Shoot us a message on Messenger here on Facebook if you tuned in late. Um, we are, you know, yeah. give us a call or stop into either of our sales offices. We are open. The only days we are, both of us are closed, but we are available for private. Um, Private scheduling is on Friday, so you can catch us every day until five o'clock. We're happy to help. We love if, to help. Sorry, mm -hmm. I'm just like, Ooh, okay. I know. if you're We're not, excited. I know. If you're mm -hmm. not following us on Facebook yet, please, please, please follow us. If you, we hope that we are giving um, useful information, and we would really appreciate um, any new followers that we can get. Absolutely. And if this information was helpful to you, and you have friends or family that are looking for a home. Don't forget, Canon Builders Dream Team, we love to hand out $500 checks at closing, so we could let that be you. We could bring you a $500 check just for referring a friend or family member to us. Just make sure they tell us at time of contract that you're the one that sent them in. It's their responsibility to let us know 
Um, nothing after contract. Uh, otherwise, we'd be super popular. <laughs> um, but we really look forward and to helping you guys. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So we are going to uh, jump into Shelly's gift here and make sure that it's quality. So we'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for, for joining. Yeah, in. Thanks so much, guys. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>